Hello, Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, 2019. Yes, we've made it to October. Day trading. If, buts, candy, and nuts. Trading. You either make trading harder than you should or you make it easier than you should. Well, I don't know if you make it easier than you should, but you definitely make it harder than you should. What's my worst challenge that I have as a day trader, at top step trader? My worst challenge that I have is over trading, is the thinking that I'm smarter than the market. In the end, it's a guessing game. You're taking your best shot against the market with a limited risk. You don't have unlimited risk, especially at top step trader. In the 30K combine, you can only risk up to but not greater than no excuse me be 49 ticks with commission costs so on the 30k combine you could set your loss at 49 ticks 48 ticks every day and then go for a profit target of your choice um, obviously some of those days will turn out to hit your 48 49 tick stop because that's just the nature of the beast so what do i mean by if buts candy and nuts it's a saying, right? You hear it in if, uh, how's it, if we'd all, if, if it wasn't for if, butts, and candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Um, when you're after a profit target, here's the two things that I've noticed over the years, uh, my five plus years at Top Step Trader, that I've noticed that I do. When I get close to a profit target, in this case, I was 38 ticks away from winning and moving on to pro-funded account today and I allowed myself to accumulate 45 ticks of loss on eight trades. If I would have stopped at three trades today, I was down minus 12. You figure it out. I figured it out. Minus 12 against minus 40. Well, I had to at minus. Um, so it's 33 ticks of losses that I accumulated. In other words, $330 of losses if I would have stopped after my third trade, which actually my third trade, the uh, dome put in two. So I clicked once, it set, it sent two, filled me at two, and I got out in my third trade. So even if I said, all right, that was a mistake, I took the next trade, that one took me to, I think it was minus 17, minus 19, somewhere in there. So I could have stopped the day, at, at worst case scenario, I could have stopped my day today at minus 24, minus 23. All along the way, I could have stopped, but I kept on going after it, because why? Well, two things I talk about that are, are my worst nemesis. Over trading, and when I get close to the profit target, just going balls to the wall and trying to get through to that third, to that that target mark. So today I started at 3160, today's account balance started at 31,628 are basically up 1,628 on, on the fake money. At the end of today, I'm sitting up a little over 1,040 something dollars. So I have created a bigger loss than I should have on a day. And this is something that I would have already passed through to my 32,000 and moved to the pro funded account if I could control my losing days. My losing days, and there's been two of them now, that I've lost over 40 ticks. The rest of them have been within you know, three trades, staying away from it. But on two trading days, I can look at it and say, instead of losing, say, $200, uh, I lost double that amount to minus 43. So minus 43, minus 45, minus whatever it was. So I just say it's minus 40 on two. And then I could have stopped at minus 20. So in other words, I could be sitting, instead of at 30, 31,000 and change, I could be at 31,500, roughly 31,400, still sitting in an area to be able to go after it. Most likely have already moved to that next level um, when I had a, a day when I had 63 ticks, I think I got the, the other day. And that on Friday, I think, or whatever day that was that I traded, it was Thursday. Uh, one of those days I ended up getting a, a big winning uh, trading session after losing the previous day. So that's my worst, that's, that's my biggest challenges that I have here at Top Step Trader. And it, it, it's, it's, 
if you think about it, it's it's the way it's set up. It's the way the rules are set up to to basically fuck you in uh, three ways to Sunday. It's all set up to work against your psyche. You work against you're after a profit target. You know if that profit target wasn't there, if the 50 ticks wasn't there, if butts candy and nuts, we'd all have a merry Christmas, right? We could all make excuses behind, but these are the rules that you got to follow. I don't like the rules, but if I don't follow the rules, therefore, you know, shutting down my, my and this was the day six, day 16, I think, uh, as far as my trading in this particular, after the reset that I made. So, where have I found success right now, Top Step Trader? It's limiting my losses on losing days and letting the winning days run a little bit but don't take the gift horse that's staring in front of you. Uh, there's days that I wish I would have taken more profit out on winning days, so there's obviously areas that I can improve upon. The hardest part that I have right now <clears throat> is not having that, that uh, second contract that I can trade behind it that trails on a big winning day. Um, and honestly, with all the stop losses that you have and, and it just doesn't make sense so the best way in my humble opinion if you're either trading 30k or the 50k is still only trading one contract two contracts you lose too much too quick uh, and unless you have extreme discipline uh, my discipline at times is really good and then like a day like today when I said I went into it thinking all I need is 38 ticks that's one winning trade. It's one. It was actually 1.5 p today, and I know that I can hit 1.5 p on on all kinds of trading days. But I have to wait for the correct signal to come in. I jumped the market today. That's fine. All right. So I jumped the open, and it took me out. Well, then I've got to be smart enough to stand aside and stop. After that point, I accumulated seven more trades where two of them were put at the same time, I end up with eight trades or eight eight trades on seven different opportunities I went in the market where one of them put in two for me. Why does it do that? That seems to mess with my psyche more than anything else. When, when the dome itself, the CTS-T4, I click once, but it sends two. I'm sitting with one contract out there, but it puts two in the market. I, it, it blows my mind how you've got something set up there and it and it overrules what you got going on inside your own you're you're clicking it and it sends two in I don't know why it does that I don't know who is in control of that kind of bullshit but it wouldn't surprise me because I'm that pessimist type of person sometimes that that you know and I you know I'm paranoid more than anything I, I paranoia will destroy you right so being paranoid, I'm sitting back, all right, who's fucking with me now? So, and that's just the paranoia talking. Uh, it may, it's probably the computer that I use right now getting old and that one click is showing it as two. But I'm thinking in my head, okay, how is Top Step Trader trying to fuck me now? But it's not them, it's me. It's me not being able to stop my trading on um, a bad trading day. It's all me. I'm the cause of my, my issues. It's not them. It's not. I, I want to blame it on somebody, but the blame really squares back to the person that's sitting here controlling the computer system itself. So what does it end up being? Ends up being that you take too many trades on a losing day. If I stick to my three trades a day and then walk away, these are days that I would have already moved past the, 30, uh, the 32,000 mark already on some of these losing days uh, and then my winning days I would have been able to to offset the losing days and been you know 800 bucks higher most likely above the 32,000 and already into the pro funded account once again so live learn and remember <clears throat> if butts and candy and nuts really doesn't work in trading it really comes down to your discipline on a losing trading day. So my two words of wisdom <clears throat> that I want to leave you with
here at Top Step Trader. So I was looking at my five minute thing and it never, it never kept going through. So we talked 10 minutes instead of five. Um, two words of wisdom, over trading and profit targets. When you're after a profit target at Top Step Trader, you've got to, and it's the hardest thing in the world to do at times, you're looking at, all I need is this, but really what you're allowing yourself is unlimited risk almost to your stop loss to try to get to that. So still try to take, not try, do. Do or do not, there is no try. Take good trade setups when you're in there, you know, in the over trading. When, when, you're, when you're trying so hard to get to something, it you, you, you justify why you're doing what you're doing in your head. You're sitting back and you're thinking, well, I can get this on this one. This is the one, this is the one, this is the one. And I know what happens with me, I don't know about you, but I went from minus 12 to minus 44, excuse me, minus 45. I went to that from, so 30, what's that, 33 ticks, 35 ticks, whatever that was. I went to that loss period in probably about 20 minutes, if not less than that, food for thought. Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. So I'm still above and beyond. Next time I get there, hopefully I hit the target, you know, get close to it, get close to it, and get above it. Quit worrying about, okay, I got to have this amount. Just pass it by and quit worrying about things I can't control.